Hey guys, it's Niklas here from UpgradeToLife.com and in this video we're going to talk about the game of life. Learn how to play it wisely to achieve your goals. That's the title of this video and in this video I really want to show you that when you start to see life as a game, right, when you start to manifest in a more playful way, you know, like forcing yourself to do things or like making manifestation, conscious manifestation like hard work and stuff like that, right, and really consciously create your life and your circumstances, then you really start to see it as a game. And you will realize that you play this game only with yourself, right, that there are no opponent, opponents, that there is no one opposing you, that you have no one and nothing to fight against. The battle is really only in your own mind. And in this video, I want to explain to you, like, why this is the case and how you can use the rules of the game of life so like i said in the beginning to achieve your goals right now with that i would say let's jump in this video i'm really excited for this because i think that's a great topic and when you really understand the game of life right when you really like you see that life is a game you know the rules and you apply them and you see that those rules bring you success then there is like you can't revert back to your old way of viewing life so let's jump into it. Now, first of all, I would like to give you a small introduction so that we're knowing what we're like going to talk about in this video. Now, let's talk about this. Nell said, a change of attitude is a change of position on the playing field of life. The game of life is not being played out there in what is called space and time. The real moves in the game of life take place within, on the playing field of the mind. Okay, and this is a very important first thing. Um, I wanted to put this at the very beginning of this video because many people think when they hear game of life, right, that it has all to do with how you like act and what you do on the outside, on the quote unquote outside, right, in the world of senses, in what Neville calls the world of Caesar, the three dimensional world, whatever you want to call it, right, just this uh, world of time and space. Okay, but Neville really explains, and this is, you will figure out that this is really true, that the real game happens within you. The real shifts, right, they happen within you internally. So then he continues and Neville says, most of us are totally unaware of the mental activity which goes on within us. But to play the game of life successfully, we must become aware of our every mental activity for this activity in the form of inner conversations is the cause of the outer phenomena of life. So what Neville is saying here is that many people before they like discover Neville's teachings or in general those teachings that help you also be more self-aware, they're unaware of what stories they tell themselves, what are their inner conversations, what are their like imaginal activities going on, what are their assumptions and everything related to that. And then they wonder, like, why is my life so shitty? Why don't I have the money that I want? Why don't I have the, the partner that I want? Or this type of relationship? Why is my relationship so shitty? And they only look on the outside without realizing that the real cause is within. Right? And then it's, like, mirrored back to you from the, from the outside. So he says, there is no opponent in the game of life. When you truly, truly understand this and when you truly accept this, then your life in general will become easier and you can feel this relief that nothing and no one is ever against you. You interpret it as like this person is against me or this circumstance is against me right now because that is your point of perception. That is because you still are so much identified with this like ego perspective, right? And what your senses are telling you at the moment. But when you would know that imagination creates reality, right? Neville's core, one of Neville's core teachings, then you wouldn't have this kind of attitude, okay? So take this as a small introduction into this topic, game of life. Obviously, this is a huge topic, right? And I only can explain to you the things that I personally have experienced and I can only explain to you the things that I read in like stories from my clients and from, from Neville's teachings. But... Obviously, when you test it for yourself, you will see that it is true and that this is how life works. So let's continue. And then also said the game of life, like every game, is played within the framework 
of certain rules. And any violation of those rules carries a penalty. You and I are playing the game from morning to night and should therefore learn its rules in order to play it well. <laughs> right? So super easy. Um, he just, he's just saying that like when you when you play like chess or when you play like soccer or whatever you play, there are some rules, right? You can't do this, you can't do that. In the game of life, yes, there are also rules, right? The rules for you to win, rules for you to achieve your goals, okay? And we're going to talk about those rules in just a few minutes. And he also says, let me put it this way. The game of life is won by those who compare their thoughts and feelings within to what appears on the outside. And the game is lost by those who do not recognize this law. Being consumed by anger, they see no change in their world. But if they would change their mood, their circumstances would change. Then they would recognize the law behind their world. And the, like the summary of that is that your internal world, which Neville gave some examples like your thoughts, your mood, your um, like, like, like your internal conversations, right? Everything that is going on within you, that actually that is responsible for what you see in your life, for how your life unfolds, for the circumstances that you encounter, for the people that you encounter, for how they treat you, right? That this is responsible for the game of life. And when you don't recognize that as within, so without, Right? When you don't recognize this kind of law, then it's hard to play the game of life, obviously, because you will always blame outside circumstances, outside things, other people, stuff like that, that they are responsible for, for your life circumstances. But eventually, because you are on this channel, you are learning about Neville's teachings, you will realize that it's all coming from you, that you are the source and the cause. Now, let's talk about the rules of this game of life to... Yeah, like to, to achieve your goals, right? And to play it wisely without being a fool and without making a lot of mistakes so that this game actually becomes enjoyable. Now, first of all, Nella said, now, in order to play the game of life, you must know what you want to replace what you have, okay? And so many people, they kind of forget this step. They just jump in those teachings and they think they want this and this and that and they do this technique in meditation and then they wonder why they see no real changes, no results, but when you trace it back, oftentimes what I experienced in my own life and also by speaking with some of my clients is that they're not really clear about what they want because they, they never thought about it. They think that they want certain things because society tells them to or their parents or their friends, whatever. But they don't listen to their own goals and desires that they really have for themselves. So take this as a very important rule or step, so to say, to first of all, get clear on what you want. Right? Trust in your desires, listen to your goals that you have, that you want to achieve and manifest. And then Neville continues. When you know what it is, you must assume the feeling that you have it. Although your reason and senses will deny its existence, persistence will cause your assumption to harden into fact and objectify itself upon your screen of space. Play the game this way. You may think it doesn't work, but that's because... You have not tried it. And I agree with Neville here. Many people, they when they hear all of this stuff, right? when they come into Neville's teachings or into the soul community in general, they think, yeah, maybe it works for some people, but not for me. Or maybe this works only when you have like 10 years of experience. But I can tell you this works all the time. This works even right now. Right now it works your whole life. Even if you haven't used this law consciously and played this game consciously, you still can't escape the, the game. Right? You are in the game. You are its main character. Right, You are the source of the game. So you, you cannot escape it. You can just choose to play it consciously so that it becomes, like I said, enjoyable. You achieve your goals and you have some fun. And you stop being a fucking victim in this game. So very important this point also here is although your reason and senses will deny its existence, right, will deny the existence of your goal will deny the existence that you have already achieved your goal or that you already are the person that you want to be, we have to, quote-unquote, ignore this. I will also make a video about ignoring, like, facts, should you really ignore them or not, and stuff like that. But for now, this is not so important because here we're going to talk about um, the rules of the game of life. 
So persist in the assumption that you have already achieved your goal. That's the main point. Why persist that it already happened? It's not that it's going to happen in the future. It already happened within you, within your consciousness, within your imagination, which is the source of everything. And then it's like pushed out, which is not your your job to think about that um, from the father, from your true self, from what Neville calls like the father, which is this infinite consciousness. And you're the son, which is like this this human part, so to say, of this whole game, right? But there is something behind the scenes going on. And you can, again, you can test it on your own, right? You can test it when you just manifest some stuff consciously. And then you see, wow, like I actually have some some crazy, some crazy infinite power within me, right? And now I, I realize that and now I can use that to achieve my goals. And then Neville says, you may believe the idea is stupid, but I tell you, the mood decides your fortune. Believe me, I've proved this principle over and over again in my life, right? And I first, when I first came about these teachings, right, obviously I also thought like, this is some woo stuff. This is crazy. This is delusional. This is not true. But when you trace some things back, when you just look about how your life unfolded now and you see, you think about certain situations and then you think, actually, I have imagined the, the worst case in that in that. Uh, situation or I thought about that or stuff like that then you will see wow I like I was responsible for that and then you can also choose either you want to continue being this unconscious victim or you stop you say no stop fuck it I now choose to learn once and for all how this works how the game of life works uh, understand Neville's teachings test them apply them in my everyday life so that I finally get some results right when I talk about results i also highly recommend you check out my free masterclass you will find the link for that in the video description um yeah it explains things in about 30 minutes summarized highly recommended let's continue with the video so those are first of all some rules also to sum those rules up first rule is that whatever you desire right whatever is your goal whatever you want to achieve whatever you see like manifested whatever you want to um, accomplish in your life believe that you have received it and you will that is the core rule so to say right believe that you have already received it believe that it is already done believe that it's already a part within your awareness within your consciousness because if it wouldn't you couldn't even imagine it so that means that this possibility although it is not manifested yet which means it is not like an intangible physical form yet so to say does not mean that it does not exist when you dig deeper into those teachings you will realize that your imagination is as real as what you currently like like see and touch and smell and hear and you use like what your brain is trying to convince you of that's that is only real and imagination is fantasy but with some testing some proving some investigation stuff like that you see that this is just like a very small piece of the cake and your imagination is also real and when you believe in those imaginal acts like Neville calls it belief in the reality of your imaginal acts guess what that's rule one right for me sounds very easy rule two do not be concerned as to how and I should have had added when right do not be concerned as to how and when it is going to happen because when you think about the how and when you you keep this goal at a distance Right, but the, the aim here is to bring it here and now. It already happened. You have it right now. Not in some months. Not yesterday. Now. Or you can even say yesterday. It already happened. That is also very powerful. But you get you get the point. right? Do not be concerned and think about and worry about when is it going to happen. How. And this in the beginning will happen. That you, you, you are going to be concerned. Like when is it going to show up? How is it going to show up? When? Am I like moving towards this kind of goal, this achievement that I want in my life? But this needs to stop because with that, again, you keep it at distance, you delay things, you, you make the process way more complicated. And for me, in my personal opinion, the only way to get out of this rut of being concerned, of worrying, of doubting, of having fears and stuff like that is to start to test it and apply it because eventually you will have enough faith that you just know it works. Okay, so rule one, rule one, whatever you desire, believe that you have already received it. Rule two, do not be concerned as to how and when it is going to happen. Rule three, do unto others that which you would have them do unto you. 
right? This is like the golden rule of this whole game of life. So don't imagine negative stuff for others. Don't imagine that other persons like have a bad business or like have no success or have no partner or whatever it may be, right? Just because you feel like emotional and you don't want others also to win, right? Because then you have to think that maybe other people also match negative stuff for you. So we don't want to even like think about that. We want to get this completely out of our system and out of our mind, right? Don't imagine for others negative stuff. Never, ever. Only imagine good things for other people and you can lift other people out of uncomfortable or like undesirable states states when you see them struggle. You can imagine the best for them. That is your power. You can do that. And you will see by, by repeating that they will show up differently. You will perceive them in a different way okay so those are the three main rules actually now here's some side notes and stories that i also would like to share with you and this is a quote by neville he said i remember visiting my family in barbados when i was told i could not leave this island for seven months but i wanted to leave on the next boat out to me being on that boat was my end so while sitting on my chair in my parents home i entered the boat in my imagination and viewed the island as I was departing. I did not know how I would get on it, but a week later when the boat left the island, I was there. This I know from experience. And he also said, I got out of army that way, knowing I wanted to be honorably <laughs> discharged and in my apartment in New York City, I slept as though it had already happened. And I was already there. Then my captain, who had previously disallowed my discharge, had a change of heart and aided in my release. Anyone can do it. This game is easy to play and can be lots of fun in doing it. So I want to point out some very important things. First of all, in both of those stories, right? Story one is about that Neville wanted to um, left the island of Obaders, but there was no way out actually. Like his senses dictated him that there was no way out. People said it's not possible, the boat was already full and stuff like that. But Neville didn't care about this stuff, right? He imagined the end. He didn't went to like someone telling him, oh yeah, maybe it happens. No, 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 no. Straight to the end, straight of what would imply fulfillment. And then he imagined that as though it had already happened, right? The same when he wanted to uh, left the army. Right? He just imagined that he is already in his apartment in New York. And he slept as though he already is there. Right? And then somehow his captain said to him, like, you know what, Neville? Um, yeah, I thought about it and you, you can leave. We will discharge you. So think about it. This is important. Is that when whenever people are needed to aid your goal, to aid the realization of your goal, they will play their role perfectly. Right, that is the the beauty of this game of life is that you have not to think about really you really have to not like I don't mean this in a harsh way or in a bad way but you don't have to think about if you like what what will they think of me or stuff like that you just think about what do you want and then you give it to yourself you give it to yourself meaning you imagine that you already have it and Neville during all of his ten books like he repeats this so many times. And when it finally clicked for me, I really realized that is it, right? That is it. We want to go straight to the end, assume that the end already happened. So let's continue with this video. And I want to summarize all of that for you so that you yeah, have some takeaways from this video. So I invite you to ask yourself how you would feel if your desire was now fulfilled. Toy with the thought. Play with it a while and the mood will come upon you. Keep that mood by playing with the senses it evokes and watch your world change to match your new mood. So you see Neville says play, right? Play with this feeling of like, how would it feel if I would now be XYZ, if I would now earn double the amount of money that I earn currently in my job? How would I feel right now if I am in a very awesome like relationship where I'm deeply loved? How would I feel if everyone wants to spend time with me? How would I feel? If you see, you, you get the point, right? So you play with that and then you will, you will catch this certain mood. And again, this mood that Neville talks about does not have to do with emotions. Okay. I want, I want you to, to keep this.
in your head. Obviously, when you imagine the end result, right? when you go to the end, emotions will come up. That is that is most probably going to happen. But those emotions are a side effect. Those emotions are not the real cause. I will link a video above. It's called the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Because in there, I really explain this kind of mood and feeling and emotions and stuff like that. So click the video above in which I will explain it in more detail. Right? But play with that. Because again, it's a game of life. It shouldn't be taken so seriously. When you take all of this so seriously, then really you 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 don't live. You don't enjoy your life. You're just a robot going from A to B. But again, this is a game. We want to play it wisely and consciously, but enjoy it and play with it and have fun. But the game is not there to, to be taken seriously. Okay. And he, sim- he continues, simply determine your goal. Feel you have achieved it. And cast your bread upon water. Then drop it and let the game of life be fulfilled in your word. Okay. Determine your goal. Feel, imagine that you already achieved it. And then you you drop it. Right. You you will automatically drop it. By imagining the end over and over again. I will also link video above. Which is called letting it go. You can also watch that if if you think it helps you now. But, But that's really it. Like that is the game of life. Life is a game. Life really is a game that you play with yourself. Realize that right now. And make the choice that you from now on see life more and more and more as a game. Because when you when you make this distinction and when you make this like choice, you will see more proof of that. You will see that life is a game, but it's not like controlled from an outside entity that you need to obey. It is controlled by you, by your awareness, which is your true self. Right? But you or the operant power, you decide where you place this awareness on. You decide what you imagine. And therefore, you decide what you create more of, what you like manifest in your physical world. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. You will find all the links to my masterclass and my coaching beneath this video. If you have any suggestions, any like questions, or you want to leave some feedback, I love that, guys. I love that I actually take my time to answer all of your comments. I really look forward for the next video. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. That's it. Bye.